In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can activate or turn on or add or whatever term you want to use your brand new internal storage device in Windows. Howdy, my name is Timmy, here with Sirius Power PC. And before we get too far into this tutorial, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and leaving a like, as well as subscribing, and going ahead and checking out our affiliate program if you're interested in potentially winning a free PC. The setup looks a little bit different. I will admit I'm moving quite a bit of different stuff around, so I can't currently record in my normal area. However, I will be back to that very soon. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay guys, so we are in here. And some tutorials are going to have this be really, really difficult and confusing. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it as easy as I possibly can. So go to your file explorer. And if it's not already selected, select this PC. You can see here I have my M.2 SSD. That's this disk right here. And I have an 8 terabyte hard drive installed as well, but it is not showing up. So to make it show up, come up here, click on computer. And here in computer, go ahead and click on manage. This will pull up this tab right here. And you should have this drop down right here on the left. Go ahead and click under storage. Click on disk management. There's a chance that you may see this, uh, this initialized disk right here. As you can see, if we move that out of the way, disk 1 is our C drive. So we have disk 0 here as not initialized and unallocated. So you must initialize a disk before it can access it. So we have that disk selected, disk zero. We're going to select GPT right here and click OK. And now as you can see, that brought that disk online. So this is our SSD down here, right? This is our, our uh, M.2 SSD. We don't want to mess with that right now. What we do want to do, however, is come up here to disk zero, left click on this portion to select it, and we're going to right click to pull this up we're going to create a new simple volume and that will open up this wizard right here is it gandalf the gray or white i don't fully know we're going to click on next we're going to use up the entire storage space so we'll click next assign the following drive letter we can choose from the entire alphabet but c because that's what our disk one is already set to I'm personally gonna set it to D just because that's what I have it set to on my other computer and we'll hit next. So we do want to format this. This should be selected automatically, but if it's not, go ahead and select it. We do want NTFS as the file system. We wanna leave the allocation unit size and then volume label. You can name this whatever you want, but for me, just to keep the two the two disks separate, so that way I don't you know confuse them at all. Local disk is C. And so we're going to make this, I just call it HDD personally, you can call it whatever you want to. If that's going to be your games hard drive, you can call it games, obviously. If you're a video editor like me and it's going to be your footage hard drive or your project, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it uh, HDD just because that's what I have it named on my other computer. And we'll go ahead and hit next that should allow us to allocate that properly it'll format here and there we go as you can see uh, it did appear a windows message at the bottom saying that that is now online so we should be able to close this and see right here that we have our hdd set up and as you can see, 7.27 terabytes of 7.27 terabytes are free. I did buy an 8 terabyte hard drive. However, it is not always going to be the exact terabyte or storage capacity that is marketed. It is always going to be slightly less. Just like over here on my local drive, uh, it says 1.81 terabytes. I actually bought a 2 terabyte drive, but you're not going to be able to to access all of it necessarily all the time but that is how you activate a new hard drive and get it set up to where you can store stuff in it now so you can do you know you can add folders and add stuff to this and it'll work just like normal so that is how you activate a drive on windows 10. So anyways, guys, I hope I was able to help with this tutorial. If you wouldn't mind, if this video helped you, go ahead, comment down below, let us know what 
helped you out the most as well as leaving a like that way you can see more tutorials like this and subscribing that way we know that you want to see more tutorials up following this style if you're interested in potentially winning a free pc then check out our affiliate program and learn more about how you might be able to do that there if you want to see a tutorial for something else, maybe a Windows function or how to enable something in game, then please leave a comment down below and tell us what tutorials you'd like to see. Thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Timmy here with Sirius PowerPC, and be sure to tune in next week for a brand new video.